Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Trigger Happy Havoc and Dungan Rampa. So, by the way, this uh, <laughs> the, the starter music is always so good. I, I love it. Every time I come in, it's like, oh man, good stuff. But also, no more of that voice acting stuff. Um, I rewatched those two episodes in which I uh, did voices for the characters, and uh, <laughs> let me tell ya. I got annoyed at myself, <laughs> and I had no one in the comments telling me to not do it, so... Oh yeah, I forgot. Murder. Who can I interact with? Camera in the far back? Can't let anything distract me right now. You can. Are you gonna say the same thing to these guys? I gently place my hand on Junko's life in his body. Another uh, unfortunate um, victim to the pink sauce. She checked for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say, she was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Huh? Well, hold on. Oh, hold on, just wait a second. She's dead? Then that means this means everything that's happened so far is real. It's not a joke or whatever, it's real, real. Hell here. no, someone save me, let me out of here. Somebody help me. What's your problem? You're just just now accepting that? I'll still read it, but I'm too lazy to do the voices. <laughs> that's understandable. Hey, who? Um. A consciousness has crashed. Restarting now? Please wait a moment. Understandable. Have a nice day. She must be shocked. She can't even open her mouth to talk. What about you, tech girl? What should I do? Someone got right in front of us. They... <laughs> what about the wise one? You can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. You just straight up quoting some like Instagram uh, up page. Come on, man, let me out of here. Come on, someone let me out. He seems a little panicked. Huh? Is this really happening? Don't fuck with Screw me. that piece of shit there. Yeah, I can agree. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka, Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing a crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of being someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Mm. Okay then, we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? What? What the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. What? Fuck. So then. Fine then, I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two player coup op based defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. <laughs> you speak my language, Yafumi. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But uh, I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed. Oh, huh? <laughs> Notice what? I was looking through the Monokuma files you received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Mikado's door. Ah. What? She's right. <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Ah, yes. I'm the murderer. I can agree. I can attest. <laughs> Hold on a second. You got it all wrong. For just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect to believe that? Just tell us the truth. She looked, well, looking at everyone else's eyes, it's done a complete 180 just from a few minutes ago. Feeling a suspicion if you had returned, in other words. Think I did it? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon at this point. We should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation and construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this so wrong, well, do I really have to say one thing more? Should we? I'd rather you didn't, no. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. Just like that, Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? Better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. 
Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me just say this right now. Whatever some of you did this is here right now, and they think of destroying that evidence. They better not let me find it. I'll skip the trial. Keep the goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck this up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ramp up. But I mean, we're not a detective or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway, we don't really have to do anything particular. We would already know who killed Sakaya. What are you implying? It was very you. Suspicious. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. That was a 180 in uh, facial expressions. <laughs> Did not come any closer? Are you gonna kill me next? Well, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not sh <laughs> for sure that Mikado's guilty just yet. Oh. That's true. May as well at least check t just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I could help with investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good with bl 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 blood. And all it takes is one woman glints and I blow up the blackout. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyways. <laughs> Alright, I guess I better get going. Oh, it's kind of cold, you know. Wait, don't go yet, you have to hear me out. But it was pointless, everyone had already left, and their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? Well, I mean, because you switch rooms. There, there is a decent reason. There's no, like, wondering why. Alright, I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is... Execution. Uh -huh. Execution. Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Turn I like the nursery rhyme. Right. Plane in a hurricane. <laughs> All right. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out this way. Monokuma, the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Siaka. Time to go. Detective mode. I guess I should look through the Monokuma files we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizona. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. Damn, that's kind of, kind of late or early, however you want to look at it. The body was discovered in Mikado's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth, so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I find out how she was killed. Nice! Monokuma File 1 has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Truth Bullets? Am I going to shoot people with the truth? Well, it's X, right? Yeah. Truth Bullets. Alright. Cool. Are you still lifeless? Yep. Can you change what you say? Oh, no way! I seriously don't want to die here! Help I'm begging you, God. Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me! I don't care who to just get me out of here. Here doesn't seem to prepare to do any kind of investigating right away. Yeah? Aren't you going to help investigate, Shahira? Um. But I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. I haven't clicked on that yet. I need all of the clicks. Give me the Monokuma coins. So there must be a clue here, or not. I better get back to the investigation. Yeah, there wouldn't be a clue there. Uh, R to exit. I know how to play this game. I played it. <laughs> Anyone here? No. Out I go! <laughs> I went the wrong way. Now, where would a murderer hide? First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I'd head to my room where Siaka's corpse still remained. No, oh, man. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. There's stuff everywhere. That might reveal something new. Alright, take a close look. I've already looked at all these, though. Yep, someone attacked it. 
You ever just attack a bed? This is the replica sword. It was used in this attack somehow, and plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I didn't really look at the blade itself till now. I sh should be surprised if it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coatings came off from parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of the coating. I remember the coating 60 even if you touch it a little bit. Nice! Then add it to the truth bolts. Oh, but they used the lint roller, you know? Looks like there's been less than there was before. No, she did not decide to clean up. It's not how that works. Is it relevant? It's not relevant. What about the key? Key on the ground? Yep. If I remember correctly. Oh, flashback! Oh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Sayaka would have had the keys here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then, how the hell did we get into the room in the first place? Could Say Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did it kill her? Noise! Switching rooms is adding to the truth bullets. I am collecting all of the truth. I am the truth. Let's look at this sheath. Brought for self-defense, means it was using the tack, yep. Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. It must have been made of something sharp. But how? The sheath got scratched up in the first place. Even if someone uses a sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. Heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just light off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Adds it to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Um, maybe Siaka tried to defend herself with it? There's many options. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is it evidence of a struggle? Yes, it is evidence of a struggle. Looks like there must have been a, some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right in their other room. If only I'd heard Wait. something. That would not be possible, huh? <laughs> Don't you remember? All our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for me. Nice! Give me all of your evidence. Yep. Display stand. What about wall scratches? There are scratches gouges on my wall and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Yes. Well. Oh, don't already talk. Okay, what do you gotta say? What have you found? The Do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Mm. Whether well, decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow their lead. I see. Well, don't vote for me because I mean, or vote. For By me. the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Anyone who raises their hand to a woman of scum deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. So if you might find this son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face. But what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> Yo. That all gets sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? She's touching the floor. Yeah, idiot. Look what she's doing. She's pointing down at the ground, touching the floor. No, I mean, not really. Oh my gosh, look in front of you. It's very obvious. She's poking the floor. I'm searching. The exact, uh... Okay, I mean, it's so I'm obvious. Searching? A for hidden floorboards? Currently inspecting every inch of the room. Mm, yes. This floor seems very pokeable. It'll help me. And that's like, that's probably murdering. It's like a, that's evidence of murder. Did you lose a contact or something? Yep. yep she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stepped up and straight said, "Are you a clean freak?" 
Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? Now I just glance around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. This is expected. There's something very unusual about your room. <laughs> Unusual? What do you mean? So I searched your room from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, not one for hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roll in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Did someone have used it too? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and some wouldn't use your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. I could be lying, though. Like, I could just be spouting nonsense to clear my name. Was it Siaka or the killer? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Noise. I'm making connections. I should look around here first. I. Uh, I guess I gotta check the door. I should check. The uh, the security guard. Surveillance camera for been using to keep an eye on everything that's happening here. They don't do anything to stop what's happening. They just keep on watching. Still inside a drawer. I don't see any evidence. Which makes sense. I guess I mean it's blind. I haven't any reason to open it. I came in a magic situation where I need a cool toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Why? Come on up. We ain't exactly in the mood to be building freaking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then? Why? Nah. Not what? just me. Nobody's busted those out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we are talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would they? <laughs> Toolkit has been added to the truth toolkit section. Can I check in there, then? To the bathroom. And on the other side of this door... No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Now, what is in said bathroom? Look, looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, her. I know. Pink sauce just does that to me. Just does it. Siaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Wh why? Why did Siaka yeah, have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I'd find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. That thought held me up and supported me. No. Oh. I examined the toilet. Okay, I guess I'm just examining you. Hold up. Shower head. This is very important. The water for the showers can turn it off at night every time. Hi there, how you doing? I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but but now is no time to think like that. I pulled out the monocuma file and verified what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object was thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. And all according to the monocuma files, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. And, uh, looks like there's a little bit of mustard on it. A little bit of gold. But there's something sort of glittery on their wrist, too. Right, that's where wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh, there's some blood on her left ninja finger, but that's it. Palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger has been added to the truth bullets? The stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer comforted her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Alright, what's this? Lettering? Well, I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... In... O E seven. No, in. Wait, those are numbers. One one zero three seven. No, that's just, that's an N. Or unless that's just bloody trail. Okay, it's one one zero three seven. Code. Written blood with the numbers one one zero three seven. Did Sayakia do this? Maybe. Spears on the wall. Look past the wall behind her, and there I saw. No, oh, I already looked at that. Is that everything I need here? Yes, a Rooney. I saw numbers. Looks like you found it, right, Mikado? The bloody numbers that most likely 
Yep. Oh, reaction! Oh, I forgot. I forgot the stuff you're supposed to do. You gotta react. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with her life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? <laughs> no. But the number she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what they could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. She wrote them in that location while she was just sitting the way we found her. I mean, she must have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. By turning only... So, like... Freaking how do you... What, with the broken wrist? No, wait. Oh, she was finger painting! That's why her finger was bloody. You're... To write something in that position, do you know what the results would be the result? Well... Think about it. You're not gonna tell me. Makoto. You need to recover the mystery of the case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not gonna tell me. If you're just gonna rotate your wrist, right? Correct, minimize itself or something. Well, why the game minimized? Okay. Wait, how do, how do I, one, one, three, zero, so, I don't, I can't, I'm, I'm like writing behind me. And you can't see it, but I'm like, honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broke? Oh yeah, you mean how it got stuck? What? Get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the front quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked, but once you learn the trick, it opens up. It opens no problem. <laughs> bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bolt section of your handbook. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just trying to closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. Edward Kyoko said to shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. Is it bashed in? What the heck? The doorknob practically... Is the doorknob practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Probably because they beat it with a sword. Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it, or that. Nah. Whatever it is, was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and end up breaking the whole thing. Well, my bathroom doesn't have to lock on it. Only the girl's bathroom can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization she shot a question at me. Just a second. I should have one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, uh, well, I did tell Sayakya about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayakya knew mm -hmm. about it. Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up, huh? Clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. It frames me as innocent, because I would have just opened it and gone for this Abby. I wouldn't have broken the doorknob. Freak now was ever even there. She suddenly turned and left the room. Nice. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayakia got. Sayakia dead? I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. Daily talk to me, that is. On my way out the door. Oh, does this have. I'm scared to talk to anyone. Can I check my room? Huh? This is Sayakia's room, right? Well, oh, the nameplate has my name on it. That's. odd. Huh? That was my room, but the nameplate is Sayakia's name on it. Nameplate to my room is Sayakia's room. Well, switch? It's all effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Dorm nameplates have been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hi there. What do you Seems think? Like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file says Siakia was killed in your room. I just can't help stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Yeah, I'm... We know this. 
<laughs> Very strange. Oh, forgot. I'm not doing voices. Mr. Nagy, what was Miss Mizano doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Hmm. Is this the trash room? Oh. Well, there's a gate. What's this? There's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Noise. Interesting. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. This is the end of the line. Trash room. This is where all the trash in school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate no, open? No, you can't go any further. No, 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 no. No entry point beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further. No entry beyond this point. Only. Wait, I already said that. Who's on cleaning no, duty? No, no, you can't go any further. It's stupid. It'll be faster to just go around and ask no, the others. No, no, you can't go any further. Cleaning duty has been added to the truth section of the handbook. Is that it? Monokuma, no. no. No, no, you can't. Go Shut up. No, no, you. Be quiet. Let me, no, let me no, leave. Oh, there's stuff. Looks like some kind of switch. Wonder what it does. Well, I mean, it probably opens it. Not gonna lie. What is this? You know exactly what this is. Whoever's buying this must be using these cameras to observe our investigation. To force us in a situation like this, what the hell do they want from us? They want to see. Forgot. There was a motive. But I don't remember exactly. Maybe they disposed of it in the restroom. Holy crap, I'm actually in the restroom. <gasps> Fishies! It's a fish tank. There's a bunch of little fish swimming around inside. I can't imagine how they could have anything to do with this case. Maybe they ate the evidence. You never know, you know? About here, you know. This is a girl about to always like hey. party pooper. Gosh, uh, everything's boarded up here. Why the laundry room? Maybe they did their laundry. Doesn't look like it. I'm, I'm just investigating everywhere, all right? I am a thorough individual. Into the cafeteria. I mean, this is probably where they got the knife. Hello, Mr. Aoi. Aoi. Mikado. Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break, actually. I've been taking a break since we started. This is all a first to me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps keep me calm. So, I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Siakia was killed. Great, fun, fantastic. I'm gonna go check the kitchen and consume that's a lot of food. That... That's wasteful. I haven't been in here yet. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. I don't see anything noteworthy about any of it. I do. That's a lot of vegetables. That can go and rot. Okay, okay. Hello, security camera. Do you got a coin for me? Some more flavor text? Kitchen 2, knowing Monokuma could be watching me, there's no way I could concentrate on cooking anything. Fair. Ooh. That's clown meat. Wait, isn't that like the clown salami or something like that? I don't know, it looks like it has a smiley face on it. Marbled meat, salted meats. Now's no time to be thinking about food. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're kind of right, but... Food. This is one of the most... Those monitors appears on, they put them in the kitchen. It's possible cooking here without thinking about how he could reappear any second. Well, that's the microwave oven. Uh. 
Yeah, I was right. That's where the knife went. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or I better see if anyone here knows more about it. Noise. Oh, Mr. Hino, or Miss Hino said she hanged around here, right? Do you know anything about this? You just one of the kitchen knives in this dining hall? Yeah, totally. yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope, last time I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well, well I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and the knives were still there. When I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, when well, the knives were gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining room? Mm. Hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall and someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. What's the proof? I didn't take it. AoE's account has been added to the truth rules. Um. Hey, by the way, did you really kill <laughs> Yeah, you just asked. <laughs> nah. What? <laughs> of course not. I would never. Hina, did you really think I murdered her? I'm well, she was killed in your room, so, right? I, I mean... You guys are supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her? On the other hand, two people becoming two good friends and one killing other is a classic drama setup. When you consider everything together, yeah. I honestly have no idea. I feel like I should be giving, getting more trust in this situation. Oh, I didn't talk to you, Mr. Byakya. Byakya, can you tell me anything about cleaning duty? <laughs> no. Such You're like a child lost in the woods, you know that? A total waste of space. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Tuck is the one who has any interest in organizing things like that. Tuck. Uh, oh, good point. Do you know anything about cleaning duty? Seems like... No, I'm just... Ugh. Alright. I shall take my leave. To the Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. Alright. Any clues in the classroom? Anyone here? Oh, it's you! The blackboard belongs to us now, Secret Beauty. Did you write this? Toko, can you tell me anything about cleaning duty? Huh? Cleaning duty? What's like I don't know anything about that. Talk is the woman who cares about stupid organizational stuff like that. Tell me about... Uh, yeah, give me that Monokuma coin. I'm clicking everything because I get coins. I don't know what time it is, but I can't see outside, so I need to use hands on the block. I read something like that already. Same thing here. Yes, I am done with the flavor text. I shall take my seat again. Now, what's in classroom number dose? Anyone? No. Has no one touched my uh, thing? Apparently not. I kind of forgot what all the rooms were here. Okay, so I can't go into that room. Okay. I forgot. I'm supposed to, uh. I saw the that room and I remembered supposed to go into my room and grab the disc out of the trash. I've come for thy disc. There can only be one thing in the trash can. Actually, there's paper in there too. Yep, DVD with Sakura's name on it. Sakura got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. wonder what did she see. It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyways. I'm sorry, Sakura. I need to borrow this DVD. Anything else in said trash? No? Okay. Fine, then I'll be on my way. Yes, I will leave the area, and I will go and peep on whatever you have found confidential. That sounds... I'm gonna go do that. After I talk to organizational duty, man. Hello, Taka! Cleaning duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning. Really? Listen you to probably me. realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was signing cleaning duty. So, you're on cleaning duty now? That's wrong. <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Okay, then who it is? <laughs> the Fumi was there. 
when we had the conversation, he volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty then. Count on it. Indeed, we'll swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up for too long. And then the time comes, I'll be counting on you. Kafumi. Alright, then. Why didn't he talk about it earlier? Kafumi, I've got some questions for you. Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Mm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? Just ha so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I firmly applied for the position. He rooted through the trash. He, he rooted through people's trash. <sighs> you dirty. Mm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I had, had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in the front of the trash room. Here we go. Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person in cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw all things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient, so actually. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. I'm trying to make it interesting. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone can go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. But boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why do you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? <laughs> oh. Um. I, I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. It. What's the big deal? <laughs> Oh, we know. You <laughs> Liar, I know why you did it. Is it? You want to dig for girls' trash looking for you know and poking around at it. There's no way to What are you talking about? about? All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. But there's all kind of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... I would never I'm get so tired of 2D. <laughs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. <laughs> the only thing 3D is good for is shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and... PVC figure. What is that? Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. You're so worried about Fumi's questionable morality. There's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy is cleaning duty, see Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash and disposing of it. Hey. <laughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, there's where's the harm in it? <laughs> How's, that's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, on to another topic. Fumi, since you are on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm -hmm. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't <laughs> helped me recover from a past trauma or save a village or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Oh, okay. So easy. So if we want to hit them to the trash room. Hmm. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living on... Or get busy dying, he said. So him and Ra Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please, just hurry up. <laughs> Okie dokie, leave it to me. But Fumi pulled the key out of his pocket and he used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Naegi! However, Mr. Naegi, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You, you fiend, you planned this all along. No, no, I just want to see if the actual killer will try to destroy evidence or not. Mm. The actual mm. killer is you, mm. isn't it? Mm. You want to see if you left anything behind. Ah. Wait, maybe a parallel world. Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Okay, so... There's a shards of broken glass scattered around in the front of that incinerator. Looks like this used to be some kind of glass ball. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. A psychic ball. Like a mind reading one. Yeah, is that? Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. Is that if you collect all seven? <laughs> try try, try a little pure gray and stick Bro, it ain't orange. There's no stars on it. Hmm. I'm kidding aside, it's just the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it and you will show you a glimpse of the future. I was right. Just like that, Mina Girl was on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? It's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Nice! Alright, I got my truth balls. 
This burnt sleeve? There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. Looks like a burnt piece of something. Mm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning a little up? <laughs> Shut up, movie. <laughs> anyway, there is... It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape. It's part of a sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, there's definitely blood on the cup, which means this is all that's left is some of the evidence the killer destroyed. There are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Nice! What about this? A green button and a yellow button. There's no doubt they're related to the big mechanism. Okay, let's examine this itself. This is an incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet away from here to the gate. And, ah, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. Pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so you may... Sure, you learn before you leave, okay? What? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it's the work of a fairy. Hifumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? huh? The fairy? No, you just said the last time you were in here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes, about that. There could be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel Yesterday, as soon as I was disappointed, I came down to check the place out. Definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who's key to open the gate, no, so it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on yet. So that means someone was able to switch on the... Gosh, I'm itchy nose. I hate it. Done. Okay. But how is that possible? Incinerator's been added to the truth bullets. I mean, hmm. the whole thing's quite strange indeed. When I was last here, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. What does it mean all mean, Mr. Nike? Will you be confessing soon? Why, why me? Everyone already knows you did it, and the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's living out of his comic book fantasy. I mean, it's kind of obvious how they turned it on. They, like, they chucked the glass orb into it. It was the psychic guy. He chucked his balls. <laughs> he chucked, chucked his balls. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of want to see what's inside of his room. Hand kids call him to the room. I heard a rumbling like heard of elephant stamping down the hallway. Mr. Naegi! <laughs> right there, Miss Naegi. Huh? There's trying no to enter someone's room without their express permission is the highest breach of etiquette. Whether it's really the case or not, you must respect the purpose right to privacy. True. Okay, what about Yashiro's room? Yashiro's room, I don't think there's anything. I guess they don't. What if I try to enter his room? Just come tearing out of the depths of the hallway? Hey, Hold up, hey, what the hell do you think you're doing, huh? I mean, How does my room have anything to do with the investigation? Well, I suppose there's a natural reaction to someone trying to go into your room without permission. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to see your reaction. Hi, Biakia. I'm just going to look into your room. <laughs> hey. Huh? <laughs> Did I give you permission to do that? Get your hand off that door. Sorry. Well, I can't imagine this is the the case anyway. But I just want to... I, I kind of want to see what's in the inside of Fumi's room. I'm a little, just a little scared to see the inside, but, you know, I'm, I'm curious. Uh... So I got the tape recording. I got the gym stuff. Anyone in the store? No. Okay. Um. This is the front lobby. Is anyone banging on the door trying to get out? You are. I thought you were the acceptable one. So, uh, do you have any clues or anything? What kind of clues? Let us just agree. We do not know who the culprit is and leave it at that. Ah, suspicious lady. Whatever secrets I may have, I don't intend on revealing anything until the grass trial. Okay, then do you have any suggestions before I should start looking? Well. Uh, so annoying. Must you fumble around fishing blindly for clues? <laughs> Sigh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to give you a little hint. The scene of the crime, naturally, but I think the trash room is also worth looking into. The trash room? <laughs> it is a perfect place to destroy evidence, however, there's one little problem, which is... As for me... place is filthy. I would rather die than set foot in there. <laughs> I'm trusting all of you to conduct a thorough investigation on my behalf. Th that's... All right, you know what? I, I couldn't expect less from the, uh, freaking... 
can't call it goth clothes. What is what? Petro, what is it called? Was it golf goth Lolita? That's what they said at the beginning, right? Did I not do anything? Wait, hold up. This got golden sinks? These bathrooms are fancy. These bathrooms are way too fancy. This is the girl's bathroom. Obviously, I can't go on. Fine. Okay, so that's just the gym. I guess I'll go and... I guess I'll go and watch the... Recording real quick. Let's do some investigations. I should be able to see. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sega threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then. It's the pop idol sensation of the year. An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well Sayaka. She was there, along with a friend she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For uh -huh. these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. Uh huh. Oh, but then. Suddenly the screen went dark, and in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <laughs> what the? Say so I had disappeared from stage, which is now in ruins, but when I noticed even more than that, I was figuring into the other girls who had simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None uh, of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For that's uh, no good. There's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? You? Maybe? Or maybe, like, you know, the disappearance of their lead singer? Without warning, the video cuts off. Oh. oh. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Did he try to say he was even able to get to them? That really did happen. Everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Not a person would take things this far. Okay, and the last thing I had to do was talk to the magic man, psychic man, whatever you may call it. Really, no one's in here. Alrighty. Yep. Hi there, magic dude. I have some questions for you. Hey, hero, can I ask you something? Get out no, 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 I gotta get out of here, gotta get out of here, I've had enough, I'm gonna break free. Hero, snap out of it. Hero, um. hero. Huh? Mikado, what are you doing here? What? Hi, uh, does this look familiar? Ah, that's my crystal ball, but it's all smashed, what the hell? What the heck? I, I only brought it because the, the guy said it was blessed, he said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. Ah, yes. I can just imagine George Washington now looking at his globe, peering into it, finding all the stuff. And Genghis Khan? Mm, yes. Napoleon. He sat on his little step stool, and while telling people to fire his cannons, he's looking into the ball to see if he would win the French Revolution. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Um... Let's put that aside for now. So can you say without a doubt this belonged to you? Uh, um, yeah, that's mine for sure. Probably forgot in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? I mean, someone, anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered crystal ball. Thanks, hero. That's all I wanted uh, to know. Um, she sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much do you pay for that thing? Uh, Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. 
came out to be like a million. A million? That's um, pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Uh oh. Is it, is it 6 a.m. yet? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's mm -hmm. time for the long awaited Class Trial. Class Trial! Yeah. Now then. Allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please mm -hmm. go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> see you soon. Alrighty. I will see you soon. Red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Well, I think this is a good time as any to end this episode here. Next episode is going to be the class trial. And I think stuff is going to go to crap. What? Oh, hold up. I got like a whole bunch of truth bullets. 18 truth bullets to be exact. Glass balls. Burnt shirts. Ovens. Gates. AOE. Knife. Name stuff. Broken door. Uh, Normal doorknob. Backwards letters. Yeah, I, I figured that out too. It's like a. It's an L, E, O, and N. I was thinking about that. And. I mean, that's the easiest thing I think of. Because she was like, oh yeah, if you like turn everything around and do all these funky stuff, I'm like, well. The thing that confused me for so long though was. Because if you rotate this backwards, like if you look at it in a mirror, it's a 7. It's 7 E O N. So, I don't know what it means, but. Yeah, it's L E O N, supposedly. I mean, I guess if you. Oh, you know what? If you look at it upside down, it, it works. I didn't even think about that. Why was why was she writing upside down? I don't know. Uh, her finger painting and wrist. Uh, the lint room. Toolkit. Switching rooms. I have. <laughs> Replica, sword sheath, the sword, scratches, and the monokuma file. Yeah. But yeah, we're going into the class trial. Hold up. Wait. Hold up. Things are starting to add up. I'll, I'll explain my theory in the next one. But things are adding up. Hold up. I figured out what it L E O N is. Hmm. I'm a little suspicious of you. Save, save, right? Yep, yep. All right, and uh, yeah, cliffhanger. Yep. Bye. Subscribe.